In this video, I will be showing you how you could create a tic-tac-toe game in Scratch. So let's start. First, let's start off by creating the grid. So I'm going to delete Scratch Cat and then I'm going to create a new sprite and I'm going to call this grid. And then I'm going to make a perfect square like this by holding the shift key and then I'm going to center it. And to resize from the center, just simply hold the alt key and you can resize like this. Make sure your sprite is 60 by 60 in size. So now let's call this costume as empty because it's an empty tile. And then let's just duplicate this and then let's type something like x here i'm going to resize like this i'm also going to add an outline something like this should do and then call this costume as x then duplicate once again and call this costume as o and then replace x with o now let's go to the code let's do when green flag clicked we'll create a new custom block called generate grid and let's run it without screen refresh so when we are running it without screen refresh, we are basically just generating the tile very quickly. So let's just put this generate grid under the when green flag clicked. And then under define generate grid, what we're going to do is hide. We're hiding the main sprite. And then let's switch costume to empty. We'll go to x minus 70 and y 70. And then let's just repeat 3. Change x by 70. And basically let's create clone of myself. So why I'm doing change x by 70? It's because... As our costume is 60 by 60, we're basically adding a 10 pixel spacing between the tiles. So after that, let's just put this repeat loop under a new repeat loop. And then let's repeat 3. And then let's change y by minus 70 and set x to minus 70. Also, when I start as a clone, let's just show. As you can see, it generated it like this, but we want it to be in the center. So what we're going to do is, let's just put this create clone of myself above change x by 70. As you can see, it's now proper. So with that, we have generated our grid. Now before we add interactivity to our grid, let's just create a new list called grid. And then before creating a clone of myself, we'll just add empty to grid. And once you click the green flag, the, there are 9 empty items in the grid, which shows that each tile is empty. So we're going to be using this list to keep track of what is there in each tile let's also create a new variable called tile id and for this sprite only so that we can use it only for clones and then let's set it to zero in the beginning and change tile id by one just before we create clone of myself and you can hide the grid list if you want now under this when i start as a clone block let's do forever let's create a new variable called brightness for this sprite only and we're going to set the brightness effect to brightness next let's check if touching mouse pointer change brightness by 20 minus brightness divided by 2 else if we're not hovering we're going to set the brightness back to zero which is nothing but 0 minus brightness divided by 2. So now as you can see we now have some hover effect to our tiles. So basically 20 is the final value and 2 is the speed. So if you add higher numbers the speed will be slower and if you add lower numbers the speed will be higher. Now let's start by actually coding the game. So let's create a new variable called turn which shows the current turn. So we're just going to make it a large readout and put it somewhere here. And then basically in the beginning let's just set the turn to something like x. So then let's do when I start as a clone forever if touching mouse point and mouse down we're going to check if item tile id of grid is equal to empty so this basically checks if the tile we are clicking is empty we're going to check if then else the current turn is equal to x we'll switch costume to x and we'll also replace item tile id of grid with x also make sure you delete all of grid here it's very important and then here else we're going to switch costume to o and replace tile id of grid with o now after we've made our turn we have to go to the next turn so we're going to set turn to o here after making the turn with x and similarly after making the turn with o let's set the turn to x now as you can see our game starts with x we made our turn x here and then we can make it for O. Similarly, the game goes on. Now, the next step is very important. We need to make it so that the player can actually win. So, for that, we need to create a new custom block and call it check win and then add an input called 1, another input called 2, another one called 3 and then let's add a new label called player and then let's add an input called player. And under this, we're going to check if item 1 of grid is equal to player and item 2 of grid is also equal to player and item 3 of grid is also equal to player let's just join these what we're going to do is create a new variable called winner and set it to none in the beginning then here we're going to set the winner to player and then broadcast win so now to actually implement this block we're going to be using this when green flag clicked script we're going to put a forever loop here and we're going to check all the winning possibilities so first let's start from 1 2 3 i'm going to check win 1 2 3 
and then let's check it for player x now let's check for four five six four five six then seven eight nine check win seven eight nine so basically these are all the horizontal winning possibilities now for the vertical it's one four seven let's just do one four seven and then two five eight two five eight and then lastly three six nine let's add three six nine as well and now the last two winning possibilities is diagonally so one five nine one five nine and then three five seven like this now put it all in this forever loop so now we've only checked for x let's also check for o so just duplicate all of this and replace x with o like this so as you can see the game starts with the winner as none however if we try to win like this the winner is x so now if there is a winner we want the game to stop playing so what we're going to do is this will only work if the winner is equal to none so if winner is equal to none all this will happen so now as you can see we can't play the game once a winner is found now let's also add a win screen so let's create a new sprite called win screen and then let's create one for the x so we're going to call this x wins and i'm also going to add an outline like this and then for the second costume i'm going to write o win so now let's do win green flag click hide and i receive win show go to x zero y something like minus 100 let's just see if that works let's make it 150 i guess yeah 150 is good enough and we're going to switch the costume to whoever the winner is so now let's play the game as you can see if o is the winner o wins so now the game stops but we can still hover the tiles so to stop that we're going to do if winner is equal to none but now after the winner is found this tiles brightness effect is still stuck so what we're going to do is we're going to change this if statement to if then else and then check if winner is equal to none we're going to add the interactivity else we're going to set the brightness to zero and that works we can hide the winner variable let's add a background for this so i'm just going to select the color of this tile here and then basically fill it up like this and then i'm also going to add a black square like this and that basically adds some kind of box to our grid and that looks much better so the last thing we need to add is to check whether the game is a draw or not so we'll check if winner is equal to none and then inside that if not grid contains empty then let's set winner to draw and then let's broadcast a message called draw then let's create a new sprite called draw here it's very similar to our win screen so i'm just going to copy paste this and then i'm just going to write draw so when green flag click hide when i receive draw we'll show the sprite and we'll go to x0 y minus 150 now if the game is a draw it says draw and that's how to create a tic-tac-toe game in scratch if this video was helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching